Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Today is Monday, July 12th. It's around 7.22 in the morning. And Sippy Cup would be sitting there if he showed up at 7.15 like he's supposed to. But I waited a few minutes and left. First service call. I got a carrier infinity system. I'm getting an error code 81 at the infinity touch control. We're going to see what's going on. Stay tuned. Make sure you thumbs up. Well, the thing is on neutral now. Neutral? Yeah, the condenser. I took it out. I took the power out. Oh, you just got to the power. Yeah. So. Right, let's quickly take a look at this outdoor unit. There's this control board. Communicates with the system. Just take a look at this cap. She looks a little swollen on top. She's a, a 30, 7.5. I just want to test that real quick. All right. I'm suspecting this capacitor. It's a 30 for compressor and 7.5 for fan. So let's just do a couple quick little check right here. So there, I'm not getting anything. Common, common to nothing. I'm changing the range. She's not reading anything on that. Absolutely nothing. Let's do to fan. Also, nothing. Reading anything, so I got a brand new one. It's about a 37.5. Let's just test that out real quick. So, common to her, and I get 30, common to fan, and I get 7. Should be 7.5. We'll blame that on made in China. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put my new capacitor in there. Slides right in there like that. My yellow was common. The two blues were Herm. All right. And the brown was Fan. I'm just gonna get a quarter inch driver. And tighten that up. All right. So I got my 37.5 dual capacitor secured, all of my terminal connections, my wiring terminals are secure, and we're going to see what happens. Hopefully it was that simple. Kind of odd that this would give out those thermal lockout errors, you know, low stage and then high stage. And I'll show you a screenshot. Let's hot head on over to the to the thermostat and see what's going on. Well, after a uh a lengthy delay, probably around five minutes or so before the compressor kicked on. I know the battery's low. And she is running. The compressor is running. And she is discharging. You know, that heat that's being extracted from the house by means of the refrigerant. Got a 86 degree discharge temperature. 
other one's much hotter. Let's let this run for a little bit. And I got some good airflow there. Just kicked off. Let me uh, use the dollar bill trick. Just confirm we have good airflow. You didn't have, you don't have airflow in the side, by the way, here. Yeah, that means your uh, condensing coil is a little dirty. But we have good airflow on top. She's discharging almost 89 degrees and slowly climbing. Let me remove any items from the top of the condenser. You know, I saw this. I saw this right away when I took off the access panel and she looked a little bubbled up there on top like she was maybe, maybe four months pregnant, you know? Maybe it's hard to see in the video, but she looked a little preggers. It's a little preggers. And then when we tested it, it didn't come up with anything. But, you know, you, sometimes you, you see something as complex like this and you think, Oh God, it's going to be the control board or it's going to be something else. Nor and I'll tell you, normally when you have this error, it is low refrigerant. You know, those, that thermal error. But what was crazy is that uh, last year he said that he replaced the compressor from the same exact error. Same exact error. And I wonder if this was also replaced at the same time. You know? You say where you're made in? In China? It doesn't say. They probably don't want you to know. It's got no PCBs in it. It's good. Let's see, it's, it's even deformed on the bottom as well. Let's go to the thermostat and see what it reads. AC high stage is on. System is running. Look at that. Went down a degree already. Alright, wrapping up here. Job ain't complete until we brand it a Mikey Pipes job. And if you ain't testing, you're guessing. It's a perfect example. Perfect example. You must test. Don't guess. Don't guess. Quick little story. me. Friday, <clears throat> late Friday afternoon, early evening, probably around 6.30, 7 o'clock. He says, hey, Mike, you know, the, with these thermal lockout errors, I was like, let me get Carrier's number. I'm like, all right, because <laughs> he knew I wasn't coming. And I said, listen, I'll come Saturday night if you like. And um, he ended up calling somebody else in who told him, yeah, I think it's the control board. And the guy spent like an hour here charging him like 150 bucks or 100 bucks or whatever it was. And um, said, hey, you know, I think it's the control board of the fan. You know, it's, I don't know. We have to call Carrier and Carrier's already closed at this point. But uh, it goes to show you, if you ain't testing, you're a guest. And if you'd like a free Mikey Pipe sticker, details in the description box down below. I got official Pipe Doctor hats, flex fit embroidered hats, shirts and large and extra large. Of course, plenty of stickers, pens, magnets, you name it, I got it. Little side hustle, you know? All right, hope you enjoyed this quick little video, basically sh sh showcasing that you must test. You must test, otherwise you're guessing. Be well, stay safe, God bless.